afternoon, students and parents. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is the Mike and Joe Show. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the hot topics to keep you up to date and informed through our coronation. Here we go. Nope. All right. Before we get into the race method, we're going to we have a breaking news. Our math madness, unfortunately, has turned into math sadness. So we have decided to postpone it until April. With that being said, you have weeks now to be working on your math facts because remember, there is that most improved uh, award. Yeah, so do not give up on your math facts. Keep working on them. March mathness is now April mathness. No time to be sad. Back to you, Mike. Here we go, the race method. When you are answering your common lip questions, remember at the end there's always a written response. Please answer in the race method. R, standing for restate. A, answer your question. C, cite your evidence. And the most important one, which my class forgets, is E, explain how your evidence supports your answer. Make sure they're all written in there, or Mr. Ross and I are just gonna hit the zero button. And so, we're gonna send it right back to you to redo. <laughs> all right, there we go, race method. Moving on. Oh, this is probably one of the most important ones. As you've noticed, we are up and running in Google Classroom and you have lots of opportunities to ask questions and respond to your classmates. When you do so, we ask that you are respectful. A couple of ways that you can start your sentence, especially when responding to your classmates' posts is, I like how you, I wonder if you, I noticed, I respect your. And last but not least, thank you for asking that question. I was wondering that too. Moving on, next topic. Ooh. The 25 novel list this is a big one. I mean, what's better than cozying up on the couch with a good novel when you're home? I agree. You took the words right out of my mouth, Joe. You're welcome, Mike. All right, fourth quarter, believe it or not, when you come back to school, it will be fourth quarter. We just are working on report cards now for third quarter. So, that being said, you should have already 18 novels read. Shout out to those who are already in their 30s. Absolutely. Uh, this is a great time to be reading. Um, if you need some suggestions, remember, go to the very first link on our 25 novel goal, and there are two or three different links in there to explore some new novel topics or titles for you. So make sure you are expanding your horizons. Stay away from the graphic novels and just the candy read. So can find I something with some substance. And with that being said, I know libraries are closed, so you can search for a book and search for the book in PDF form. My class, I sent you Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie in PDF. So a lot of those books you will find on PDF. We've already read that. We're just ahead of Tarosa. <sighs> oh, yes, King Henry. Uh, if you look in your Google Math classroom, you will notice that in the materials section, I sent you the King Henry chart. A lot of you really struggle with the U in the King Henry chart. Remember that stands for the units. Units are meters if we're talking about length, liters and volume, grams if we're talking about mass. Remember, it's simply moving. We're either dividing by tens or multiplying by tens. Don't forget your place values. Think about your place values, sixth grade. Here we go. And last but not least, this is a huge part of our math for this week and next week. Proportions. Remember, if you're my class, I'm sure Wilson's too, I, str I really stress apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Here's a problem example. If you've read 90 pages of a novel that has a total of 300 pages, what percent have you read? Okay, we're gonna walk you through it. You're gonna set it up as a proportion. You're gonna ask yourself, what is the part and what is the whole? Remember, 90 is the part of the novel, the 300 is the whole. Those are your apples. Percent, 100 is your whole. That goes on the bottom. Go ahead, click the page. Thank you, my assistant. Okay, here we go, set up this problem. You're gonna set up your problem, you're gonna reduce, cross, multiply, and divide. So remember, apples, those are the pages. Apples to apples, part to whole. Orange is our percent, part is the missing, whole is the 100%. Thank you, no drama llama. First step, reduce. Remember, in proportions, they look just like fractions, but they're not fractions, so you may not reduce uh, vertically. No, sorry, you may not reduce <laughs> diagonally. <laughs> In a proportion, you may reduce vertically or horizontally, never diagonally. Okay, so here we looked at, we have 90 and 300. We can divide those both by 30 and we reduce 90 over 300 to 3 tenths. This just comes down. 
You could reduce more. You could reduce 10, it goes into 10 once, it goes into 100, 10 times. If you did that, that would just be 10 times 3, 30, you're done. If you just reduce this part, you're fine. Now you're gonna cross multiply, 100 times three is 300 over 10 times x is 10x. Last step, divide. 300 divided by 10x is x is 30%. Quick facts, we shouldn't necessarily even be writing it this way. We should know those off the top of our heads. I just wanted to do it for example. So if you get stuck, pull up this slide, ask yourself what's part, what's whole, keep your apples to apples and your oranges to oranges. And email us any questions you may have. And also, if you have any questions, please write your questions specifically on the post that you were talking about. So Ms. Rosa and I have a better chance of actually knowing what you're talking about. We will get back to you as soon as we can. We'll be answering both classes' questions. So with that being said, please go easy on your parents. They are new to this online learning as much as all of us are. They don't have the answer, so you probably have a better chance by asking us if they can't help you. Until next time, enjoy Coronacation. See ya.